Hey, hey, West Indianola. My name is Mr. LaDuke, and I'm one of the high school art teachers here at Seaman High School, where I am coming to you live from, well, not so live, but I'm coming to you from the high school art classroom where I cannot someday wait to have you as an art student. So this week, for the West Indianola Art Week, we are going to be making homemade stickers. Yeah, homemade stickers. How cool is that? Kind of like this. And by the time we're finished today, you should have several really fun, original characters that you design and you color and you turn into a sticker. So I'm going to take a second. I want to show you some of the art supplies we're going to be working with. I'm going to do a real quick demo. And then you guys are going to be going to town here in just a few minutes making your own cartoons. All right, so this is kind of the materials that we're going to be working with today. We've got some colored pencils, we've got some markers, we've got a black pen to lay in these real dark outlines. These pieces of paper that you're going to have available are actually the paper that we're going to be drawing our images on and then coming back later and cutting out. You're also going to have available a sheet that has lots of different examples of eyes and noses and hair. And this can be something that you can use for inspiration if you find that you get stuck or you want to come up with a, a slightly different idea. So I'm going to take a second and I'm going to focus in a little tighter here and show you some examples here in a second. This is a, a finished sticker that I made a couple days ago. And this is very similar to a character that I would have drawn when I was in third grade with funny eyes, kind of a funny nose. So I'm going to kind of show you how I would approach getting started on something like this. So when I draw, I sometimes like to start off with a pencil, um, you know, just to be sure I'm, I'm kind of more confident. This is called an underdrawing, and um, sometimes artists do underdrawings to, to lay out their image before they actually come in and ink it up. Totally up to you if you want to do this, and then, oh, if I need to make an adjustment, I can change that kind of real quickly and, uh, and then adjust that. If you feel super confident and you want to just jump in with a pen, you're more than welcome to do that too. So these black pens are going to be used to kind of lay out the actual design of our character. Um, really think about your eyes, maybe think about the expression that you want to have on those. And again, that sheet that we gave you has lots of possibilities on that if you want to pick and pull, and uh, maybe you want to think about a specific person that you want to draw. Maybe you want to think about a certain emotion that you want to convey. You know, all of those things can be kind of fun. Um, think about your shape of your head. Think about your ears, where those are located. I love mustaches, and so sometimes I come in and draw mustaches. My grandpa used to wear a funny little pencil mustache. And I was just looking at some pictures of him the other day. And so I think my guy is gonna have a pencil mustache kind of inspired by my grandpa Biosh. Just like that. All right, so once you've laid that out, um, if you did do an underdrawing, you can come back in with your pencil and you can erase those pencil lines so that they no longer show up. And then you can come back in and color this. Now, I like using colored pencils, and one of the reasons I love colored pencils is because I can come in and I can adjust how much pressure I put on the pencil, and I can make things darker and lighter. So if I wanted to come in and, um, again, put more pressure more pressure tends to make things a little bit darker. And boy, when you create gradations from light to dark, uh, using either a pencil or using your colored pencil, you can do some really, really fun things in a very simple way. So again, I'm using my, my colored pencils here. I'm trying to figure out if I should add hair to them. Now my grandpa Bingosh had quite a bit of hair in his younger days. A lot more hair than I have. I think maybe I'm gonna add some hair to him. So I'm gonna look over at my sheet. Um, I'm gonna kinda add some puffy hair on the sides. I'm gonna have a 
nice big old flow of hair up in here as well. Yeah, I think that'll work. Now, sometimes around your ears and around your nose and around your lips, things can be a little bit warmer as far as the color. And when I say warmer, I just mean um, more reddish, maybe more orangish, um, more yellowish. Those are warm colors. So I'm going to kind of warm things up a little bit. And what's neat about working with colored pencils too is that you can actually add several layers if you want. And so this is the, the color that I had used for my skin color a little bit earlier. I'm gonna come back in and blend that over the top of that. Come in and lay in a layer of color for his hair. And again, if I push a little bit darker in some areas, ooh, look at that. I can create those really fun gradations very easily. Or maybe I wanna even come in and add some, some fun little lines in there as well for a little bit of texture. So if you've never played around with how much pressure you're putting on your pencil or your colored pencils, that can be a lot of fun as far as kind of changing things up a little bit. Okay. The last thing I'm gonna do, I sometimes like using a really dark blue color and I like coming in and adding shadows. Sometimes just those little cool or blue shadows maybe underneath his nose, maybe underneath his bottom lip, maybe inside his ears a little bit can be kind of fun. Um, just a little bit of blue for shadows can go a long ways and kind of add some nice detail. All right, so let's say I'm done. Hey, that's a kind of a goofy little cartoon character I created. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it out. When you cut these out, you wanna come in and you wanna leave about maybe an eighth of an inch around the outside of your drawing. And this should make it a little bit easier to cut out, but it should also make your, your image look more like a sticker when we're done. Almost all stickers have a little bit of a white frame around them. And we want these to look professional, so we're gonna cut these out like that. So again, I'm gonna Leave a little bit of a frame around it. All right. There we go. This is my Grandpa Bingosh. And when you're done with this, you're gonna take that up to your teacher and they are gonna help you transform just a piece of paper into a full-blown sticker where you can take this off and you can stick it on whatever it is you want to stick it on. So I hope you guys have fun today. Um, you should be able to create several characters. Maybe think about you know somebody that you have a lot of love for. Maybe it's your grandpa, maybe it's your mom, maybe it's a sibling, maybe it's your caregiver, maybe it's your teacher. That could be fun. And, uh, and see how many stickers you can produce. And I wish you well. And I wish we were there so we could see what you come up with and uh, have fun. Good luck.